Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you 25 of the best crew colours in GTA 5 online. So I hope you do enjoy or find this helpful, of course if you do please leave a like. Anyway though we'll get straight into the video, so to start off I'll show you how to apply these crew colours. So to apply the crew colours you first of all need to log into Rockstar Social Club and then you need to own a crew just so that you can edit the crew, so go onto the crew and edit it. Then on this colour box here you want to right click on it and then hit inspect. Now some of the hex codes in this video you can just type into the hex code box there. However some of them you will need to use this method here so once you hit inspect go to the hex codes uh, there should be two, one is there and just replace it with whichever colour you want and then another hex code further up replace that with the hex code of the colour you want and then hit save this crew then refresh the page close that inspect element box on the right then go back to your crew you'll notice the colour has changed. By the way, I'm giving the hex codes of each different colour in this video. The first colour in today's video is going to be this sky blue colour right here. So as you can see, it is a crew colour. So go to respray crew and equip it. I'll put the hex code for this on the screen right now. Obviously, feel free to add a pearlescent to this. I'll just go for the ice white just to add a nice shine to it. Uh, but if you want to, experiment with this and all the colours in this video and use different pearlescents. Now I'll also show you it out in the daylight, so here it is in the sun. So as you can see, very shiny, um, and yeah, it just stands out as a really nice crew colour, in my opinion. Anyway though, that's this colour done, so we'll move on to the next one. Next up we have one of my favourite colours, and this is just a simple green colour, so it's more of a dark green, uh, but it's sort of light as well. Uh, so you'll see there's no other greens like this, um, but also I'll put the hex code for it on the screen now. So yeah, just a very nice colour in my opinion. Let me know what you think of it down below, but anyway, on to the next colour. Next up we have this dark mint colour. Um, but yeah, it is a crew colour, so here's a hex code on the screen. Now if you want, you can have no pearlescent, just like this. Or you can add the ice white to add a shine. Um, and yeah, just make it stand out a bit more. Uh, but if you want more of a subtle colour, just go with no pearlescent. Yeah, this is it. So this will definitely look nice on some classic cars, I think. Um, or you can use it on supercars. Really up to you what you do with these. Anyway, on to the next colour. Next up we have a really nice colour, and this one is more of like a midnight red colour. As you can see here, it's quite unique, it's not like super bright, um, so it's kind of dark as well, so it goes nice on this car, I think. Uh, here's a hex code. Also, feel free to add pearlescence to these colours. Uh, you can just customise these as much as you want. Before we move on to the next colour, I want to quickly mention if you guys are looking for any GTA 5 modded accounts that come with plenty of modded cars with modded colours on them, check out today's sponsor MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion and you can also boost your current account with tons of money and RP. And with over 9,000 reviews on their official Trustpilot page, they are by far the most highly reputable modders. The link will be in the description and pinned comment. Feel free to use code TJRH for 5% off your order. Next up we have this fiery orange colour, as you can see right here. So it is a crew colour, I'll put a hex code for this on the screen right now. Obviously I have added a pearlescent to this, the race yellow. I think it does look nicer with a pearlescent. So here it is, it's quite nice uh, at the sunset because it just makes it more orangey. But yeah, it does look nice in my opinion. Uh, let me know if you do like this colour down below, what you think of it. But yeah, a solid colour. Anyway, onto the next colour. Next up we have this really light but dark purple also. Uh, so here it is. It does look brown sometimes in the day, uh, but under certain lighting it looks a bit more purple, like right now. Um, but here's a hex code for this colour. Feel free to add a pearlescent, so you could go for the ice white, just add like a shine to it. As you can see it looks a bit more brown in the daylight, um, but I think this is quite a nice unique colour. Uh, I don't think you can get any like this uh, just from normal colours. Uh, so yeah, anyway let's move on to the next one. So next we have this pinky purple kind of colour. It's like a bright pink, the crew colour. Here it is, the hex code. Yeah, as you can see, I have added the ice white pleasant as usual. It just adds a nice shine. I just prefer to add it. But yeah, hopefully you like this colour. Uh, but anyway, on to the next colour. Next up is going to be this electric blue colour here. So this is pretty much a neon light blue colour. Uh, so I'll put a hex code for it on the screen now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this colour. Not much else to say about this. It speaks for itself, really. But anyway, on to the next colour. 
The next colour I'm showing you is a very bright colour and a nice one, and it's a galaxy purple. Uh, so as you can see, it's almost like two colours in one. You have sort of darker purple at the bottom, and then it goes to lighter purple at the top. So here's a hex code. And if you want, you can add an ice white pearlescent just to add an extra shine to it. So I quite like it with the pleasant. But yeah, definitely a unique colour that stands out a lot. And then you won't find any other purples like this, as you can see. There's just none anywhere near this. Um, yeah, I'll show you outside. Yeah, so here it is outside under the light. Uh, so it's not daylight, obviously, I can't show you it fully. But yeah, anyway, on to the next colour. But it's going to be this simple orange. Uh, so yeah, I'll put a hex code for it on the screen right now. And feel free to add a pearlescent, so you might want to add like a yellow pearlescent just to add a bit more to the car. We have this nice subtle pistachio colour, and this is pretty much a light green with a maple brown pearlescent on it, so I'll show you it is a crew colour right now. And I'll put the hex code for this crew colour on the screen. So like I said, if you want to make this more of a pistachio colour, you can go and add the maple brown pearlescent, or you can just keep it without a pearlescent and have a nice light green colour. We'll move on to the next colour. Next up we have this bright blue colour and this is probably one of my favourite blues in the game if not my favourite blue. So anyway I'll put a hex code for this on the screen right now. Now as you might be able to tell I do have a pearlescent on this and this is an ice white pearlescent so it just adds a nice shine to it. Also you can combine this with the chrome colour and make a really nice shiny blue chrome colour if you wanted to. And here it is outside, just standard. So next up we have another blue colour, and this is again up there with my favourite blues in the game, and this one's a bit different, a bit more unique. It's not as bright, um, but it's definitely a nice colour in my opinion. Let me know what you think of this one down below, and I'll put a hex code for it on the screen right now. So I haven't used a pearlescent on this one, I personally prefer it without a pearlescent. Next up we have this really nice light pink colour, so I will show you it's a crew colour right now and I'll put the hex code for it on the screen right now. I think the closest colour we have to this is the salmon pink in the game, but it is a bit more peach whereas this one's a lot more pink, um, so I'll show you it out in the daylight, obviously it's not midday so it might not be as bright but even in the dark it looks good. Anyway on to the next colour. So next up we have a dark purple crew colour. And there aren't actually many purple colours in the game under the metallic section. Um, but this one's just a brilliant purple. Much nicer than the purples we have in the game already, so I'll put a hex code for this on the screen right now. Now for pearlescent, the ones I would recommend is either ice white or perhaps any blue pearlescent. Or just no pearlescent at all, it looks good with any of those. And now I'll show you it outside. So this colour looks good on pretty much any car in the game I'd say. Anyway though, on to the next colour. So next up we have arguably the best looking green colour in the game. And this is this one here on your screen right now. So obviously I'll put a hex code up on the screen too. But yeah, definitely feel free to let me know if you do think this is the best green colour in the game. Obviously it's subjective. So if you guys do prefer a different green colour, let me know which one it is down below. And even put a hex code if you want to. Um, but I do have an ice white pearlescent on this. So feel free to add that too. Um, and as you can see, there aren't any other greens like this in the game. So it is completely unique and now I'll show you it outside. Anyway, that's all there is to say about this colour. Let me know what you think of it down below. And anyway, on to the next colour. Now here we have a very unique sand colour. So obviously some of you might not like this. Some of you will like this. Let me know down below if you do or don't. Um, so here's the hex code on the screen right now. So here it is outside. So again, a very nice colour. It's one of those colours that I think would just go well with any kind of car, whether it be a supercar, sports car, off-road, or even a classic car. I think it just looks good on any car in the game. Anyway though, on to the next colour. Next up we have this candy pink colour, so this one's more of a dark pink, slightly purple. Um, so I will show you the hex code and I'll put it on the screen. This one I think looks best without a pearlescent, uh, but it's up to you if you want to add one or not. And then here we have it in the daylight. Next up we have this neon green crew colour. So this one will just stand out on pretty much any car, so I'll show you the hex code right now. Anyway though, that's all there is to this colour. 
So for the next color, we have this reddish pink color. So I'll put the hex code for this on the screen right now. So you want to use the bright purple pearlescent uh, to make it the exact same as this. This next color is definitely one of my new favorites in the game and is like a bright sea green color. So here it is. Um, and I did add an ice white pearlescent to it. But yeah, I'll put a hex code for this on the screen right now. But yeah, here it is outside. Obviously not fully midday, uh, but you can still see it's a nice color regardless. Um, but let me know what you guys do think of this color. Um, and anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Next up, we have this neon yellow crew color. So I'll show you it is a crew color. Um, obviously I have the ice white pearlescent on this, uh, but you can take that off if you want to. But here's a hex code on the screen. So yeah, this is a great color in my opinion. Obviously much better than the yellows we have in the game. Um, and I'll show you outside too. Here it is. Uh, it's quite bright. Obviously it is probably brighter midday. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's a neon yellow color. It is sort of like a sea green kind of color, but a bit of blue in it too. So as you can see here is this crew color. I'll put a hex code for it on the screen right now. So yeah, if you want to add this crew color, obviously you can watch the start of this video where I show you how to apply the crew colors. So I like the ice white pearlescent on this, but feel free to add like a sea green pearlescent or a blue just to make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, but here you can see it without a pearlescent uh, and here it is with the ice white. Uh, it is a Neptune blue color. I'll pop the hex code for it on the screen uh, right now. And the pearlescent I added to this, which I'd recommend you add to, is the ultra blue. And this one here is dragon fruit, I'd call it. So it's like a pink, it's almost like a sunset pink. So it's pink and a bit of race yellow pearlescent. So here's the crew color. I will put the hex code for it on the screen right now. Um, yeah, here's the pearlescent I used. I used a race yellow. I will show you it outside right now. So here's how it looks outside. It's obviously not middle of the day, so it's not as bright as it would be. But I like this personally, I think it's a really nice unique colour uh, to put on some of your cars. But yeah, let me know what you'd rate this down below, if you like it or not. But those are all the colours for today's video, so I hope you did enjoy. Let me know down below which colour was your favourite in this video. Anyway, if you found this helpful, please leave a like and thank you for watching. Have a great day or night and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.